What's going on my fellow graphic designers? In this video, I'm going to bring you guys a Twitter starter pack. It's going to include a header and a logo that you can customize to your liking. And that's all there is to it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go in the description below and it'll take you to Google Drive right here. And it'll take you to this one, Twitter pack zip. You just want to click download up here, download it, drag it to your desktop. It'll look like this or it'll just be a folder that's zipped up. And you just want to right click on it and find the extract button. There's one right here and it'll extract it into this right here. So just a folder that you can open and you can go into logo or header, whatever one you want to start with. And there's a PST and a photo P link. So whatever one you want to use. So let's try the photo P link, copy that, go up here, paste it. And it should take us to that file. Here we go. It did. Or you can do the PSD, so go up to File, Open, Twitter Pack, Header, and then click the PSD, and it'll open it the same way. So you can see here, you got both the headers, whatever way works best for you. If you use Photoshop, use the PSD. If you use PhotoP, use the link. So now that we have our header pulled up, we can first turn off distances so we don't have all these red lines going crazy. and. So what you're going to want to do is replace your logo or my logo with yours. So if you double click on my logo, let's see, let's just type something. You can see the effects I have on this and copy it for your logo. And uh, yeah, so just delete that, put yours in the center up here at color changer. You can change the hue to whatever you want to change the color of the background. Um, these two colors are pretty bright. So just be careful about that. So what you can do to turn the brightness down is turn the saturation down a little bit and it'll make it less bright and you can basically use any color you want with no problems. So now let's try the logo. It's the same process, but I'm going to show you anyways. So here's the link. Let's copy that. Type it in up here. And it should take us to the logo. There it is. So what you want to do is the same exact thing. Replace it, put your logo there and you can change the color up here, whatever color you want. And for both of these, you want to export them as a PNG, hundred percent quality. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will be making a tutorial on how to make these and also how to make that Twitch and YouTube streaming pack. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow's video or not tomorrow's video. The next video should be the stream pack tutorial. And then the one after that should be a tutorial on how to make these. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend subscribing. If you haven't already, I make a lot of other content like this that you might enjoy or find useful. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.